Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 94, and it's totally not recorded out of sequence. I promise. Okay, I, I blame it on the long New Year stream of being half half tired, half awake, whichever way you want to think about it. And so I recorded episodes 91, 92, 93, 95, 96, and I noticed editing that I was kind of missing an episode, so I could have done this one or two ways. I could have just shrugged and went, oh well, and uh, released one short, or I could record a little insert. So I'm going to do a little bit of crew check-in. Uh, a little bit of leveling, and uh, and and make sure that you get the full complement of episodes. So, uh, what happened when we went into the cantina after episode 93? I, I guess you'll have to wait until tomorrow's release to find out. <laughs> In the meantime... <clears throat> I, uh, I I went to go check on some of the droid stuff in between uh, after the stream and realized that we haven't leveled Goto yet either. So let's go in there first. Let's get him leveled up real quick. Let's go to his skills. And if I remember it, yeah, he... You know? I might almost want to... Uh, start using him instead of T3 as my random walking around droid. He's an evil. <laughs> but he does have his uses. I may also want to start using his um, stealth to or get him stealth as a class skill. Oh look. And that's not an option. Okay. The only class skill I can get him is demolitions. I don't need another demolitions guy. I got enough demolitions guys. So... We're uh we're actually running a little bit short on on feats for Mr. Goto. I was not expecting that. All right, dual strikes always an option. I could get him improved toughness, which would be nice, especially if I'm going to start making him my walking around guy. Weapons focus would be nice for the blaster pistols. Although if I remember right, I gave him an upgrade that actually gave him that feat. So that's not a priority for the moment. Uh, improved caution's nice. Oh, that's where he got his... Alright, because I noticed he already had a couple of points in stealth. And, uh, I guess it's from caution. That's... That's not bad either. Or I could get a Master Gearhead. Since, uh, he does seem to be a skills guy. Worth keeping around. Master Gearhead is an option. So it's either Master Gearhead or Toughness. And I'm leaning more towards Master Gearhead. Although, uh, damage reduction of 10% of any damage over 20 points suffered. That is kind of nice. Although nobody's been hitting us for 20 points a shot just yet. So let's go ahead and do the Master Gearhead. And then the next go round we'll give him Toughness. Well, let's add that feet right there. Okay. And accept. Oh, and he's got another. How far behind is he? I, I guess I need to I need to dust him off a little bit more. All right, let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go there. And you know what? Let's go ahead and bump up his stealth anyway. I hate that we got to spend two points at a time to do it. But on the other hand, there's no point in pumping up his awareness anymore. It really isn't. I'm almost tempted on the next level up to uh, dump all the points into stealth instead of bumping up his repair security and computer use, especially now that we got the feet. That gives him an extra plus three. That means that we could we can fall a little behind on those. Maybe. I'll think about it. Okay. And accept. Oh, let's level him up again. Ooh. Here's where the questions come in. Like... Uh, well, <laughs> with the exception of HK, uh, droids don't really need strength because he can't do any melee stuff. He's not lifting anything. He's not, he's not hitting anything. Strength doesn't do anything for him. So there's no point in putting it, uh, a point in strength. Bumping his dexterity up to 20 would be awesome. That would be awesome. Uh, <clears throat> Especially since that's going to help his ranged attack rolls and defense. Uh, giving a better chance to hit and not get hit in return. Uh, constitution would be nice. Because that, that's definitely going to uh, help his hit points. Um, 
I wouldn't mind bumping his intelligence up to 20, but I'm not sure that I, that's really going to be that beneficial. And same thing for wisdom. Like, I wouldn't mind bumping wisdom up to 12 just to get a nice round number. But um, the only thing, that, it's not going to help him with any force powers because he's a droid. There are no force-wielding droids. Um, on the other hand, it would help his willpower and the various skills that work off of wisdom. Uh, but most of those skills aren't skills that he's really using anyway. And most of the will stuff doesn't affect droids. So let's go ahead and bump his dexterity up to 20. That's an easy, that's an easy go. And then we'll, we'll ponder the imponderable when we get to the next skill point. I know, I, I said I was going to, I was thinking about dumping everything into stealth. I'm not. I want to keep computer use repair and security maxed out. I'm surprised that you can't even do treat injury as a cross-class skill with him. Uh, that, that to me is surprising. But instead of bumping up awareness, I will take my two remaining points and just keep dumping them into stealth for now. Okay. And accept. There we go. Now he's up to date. And what I wanted to double check is, did I not have better armor for him? Uh, defense bonus 7, 4, 6, 6, 10. Okay, so there's, there's the question. Do I give him a defense bonus of 10? But he loses the immunity to electrical, energy, fire, and sonic damage. For an extra three... For an extra three defense. That's... That's actually... Hmm. Uh, the, the sonic, not so much. But the damage immunity to fire... Like, damage immunity 100% versus fire? That's not bad. And energy... Eh, it's okay. Electrical... Eh, it's okay. I think most of the blaster fire he's going to be taking is uh, energy anyway. So, I think for the moment, we'll leave him right where he's at as far as the equipment's concerned. And yes, that's right, because I did give him that other upgrade. He can take a blaster rifle. So, uh, and if we switch that, 3 to 14 damage with a plus 28 to hit. Oh! Well, he's doing better with the dual wield anyway, until I upgrade that blaster rifle some more. That's going to have to be for when I can get back to my ship, because as we found out through the previous episodes, and as you're going to see in the future episodes, nowhere on Onderon is there a workbench to build with. The best thing I can do is get T3M4 in the party and use him to upgrade stuff with upgrades that I've already bought or built in the past. I can't actually use him as a workbench to make more, just to... Uh, install upgrades. I don't know if I ever actually mentioned that on uh, on the episode. All right. Well, he's all set. Let's uh, let's do a little check in with Mister Mandalore real quick. I I think we've already exhausted the conversation options with him, but I just want to double check. I have questions for you. No, I bet you do. Good. You fought with Revan and Malak during the Mandalorian Wars. Why? Uh, they were the only Jedi who realized that the Republic would fall without the support of the Jedi. I wanted to test my training in a real fight. They provided an opportunity. And, uh, what I thought isn't important. Now, that's not, that, that's not how you win friends and influence Mandalorians. So, let's go with, they were the only, the, because it's not about testing training in a real fight. Um, I mean, if you're specifically trying to earn influence with Mandalore that might help but um, let, let's go they're the only ones who realize that the Republic would fall without the support of the Jedi huh. we'd never faced Jedi before and didn't know the threat they represented yeah. you've always been in the Jedi now you know things that are common knowledge to you are rumors and stories to the rest of the galaxy we only knew what we had seen in Holovid and from our experience with Exar Kun and by that time he was completely a Sith. Huh. We thought we would triumph easily over such noble, noble and compassionate leaders. leaders. Yeah. Those are weaknesses we easily exploited in the past. What did you think of us? Ah, uh, the Mandalorians were a menace that had to be stopped. Eh. Violent butchers without humanity. Eh. Let, let's. I mean, strong warriors and worthy adversaries is definitely not wrong. 
Uh, it is the least wrong of all the options, so let's let's go with that. And that is how we thought of you. Not of the <laughs> Jedi in particular, but the men and women who joined Revan and Malak to fight against us. Ah. You turned a demoralized, defeated mess into a coordinated army. You brought tactics, backbone, and above, and above all, all else, else, a lightsaber. To them. Ever consider what would have happened if we'd won? The Sith would have been nothing more than a border skirmish against the might of my clan. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Of strength and expansion to the Republic. With the wealth of the core worlds providing arms and warships to fuel our growth. Instead, the Republic won. Look around you. Look at what your precious victory has brought you. Yeah, I'm not so sure this would have gone so well under the Mandalorians, too. Uh... <laughs> yeah, the Mandalorians couldn't run the public. I don't deal in what ifs. You're a fool if you think it's not. Yeah, let's try that one. I suppose we'll never know. No, we'll never now, know. Is there else you needed? Uh, what is your take on the Republic? The Republic is a stagnant beast that had been killing its people for Ow. years before the wars began. Were it Ooh. not for Revan's strength, the Republic would already be dead. No. <laughs> Uh, but you were defeated and the Republic is recovering. You sure of that? You seem awfully complimentary considering he almost destroyed your people. Yeah, let's go with that one. Only Revan was worthy of our respect. We swept through the Outer Rim without any opposition until Revan assumed command of the Republic forces. Only hmm. then did the battle turn. But as you know, only a handful of Jedi fought. While the others cowered in their halls, uh, afraid to well, meet us head on. Well, it's not so much afraid to meet you head on. They just had different reasons. Uh, it wasn't fear that kept the Jedi from fighting, which is pretty close. The Jedi had their reasons for staying out of the war. Perhaps the Jedi thought the Mandalorians a threat not worthy of their attention. No, that's not going to be helpful. I'm Okay. They had their reasons, or it wasn't fear. Let's go with it wasn't fear. I'm sure there were good reasons. I'm mm -hmm. not accusing you of being a coward. You commanded the Republic fleet that destroyed ours. Well. You were a worthy opponent. Now is there something else you needed? Alright, so we guys take on the Republic. Um Oh. Yeah, we're not gonna go there just yet. Let, let, let's work our way down. Uh, what can you tell me about The Mandalorians? Other than it's a really good TV show. Oh, wait, no. That's much later. The Republic thinks my people are dead. Scattered. They are wrong. You should have destroyed us when you had the chance. As long as one Mandalorian lives, we will survive. This is the our way? Our honor, fortunes, and lives revolve around battle. From our earliest history, this has been our way. As it will be always. Okay. Oh, uh, there's more to life than war and battle. My life is revolved around the same things. Can you tell me a Mandalorian history? Yeah, let's ask about the our history. Our history and our ways are something we shield from outsiders. Okay. Only on the battlefield can you truly learn of someone. And, all right, then let's go with my life is revolved around the same Which things. Which is one of the reasons I travel with you. It pleases me that you recognize the truth. The Mandalorian clans will be united. Then we will take back our place in the galaxy. Very well. But we live in times of action. And I've said um, enough for now. We can speak of this again later. Now is there something else you needed? Yeah, I need to tell you something about the future of Mandalore and the Mandalorians. And just what a relic your armor is going to become. Sorry. No? Too soon? All right. Uh, are you certain the clans will follow you? That actually is a really good question. We have suffered defeats before, but none like our defeat at Malakor. Our spirit may have faded, but it hasn't died. It will burn bright again, like a star in the heavens. <laughs> or like a crashing plane through the atmosphere. Alright, uh, I don't see an army with yet. Eh. The Mandalorians don't seem to have the same spirit. Nah. Why haven't the can That is a really good question. Why haven't the clans come together earlier? The end of the Mandalorian Wars was something new and unknown to us. Hmm. Revan fought us like a true warrior and defeated us on our own terms. Revan embodied our philosophy 
and showed us our own weaknesses. Then he exploited them. It was a painful lesson. With Mandalore dead, our weapons taken and our pride destroyed, many lost their way. But I will change that. <laughs> Hasn't anybody tried to do that before? That is a very Only good question. Mandalore can command the clan. <clears throat> there was no new Mandalore for many years. I can tell you want to know more, but we can talk more later about this. Now is there something okay. else you needed? That's a very polite way. Alright. Ooh, how did you become Mandalore? Do you have the Darksaber? Tell me you have the Darksaber. You're not hiding that, are you? Or is that an artifact that comes in later? I'll have to ask Arcadius when we're on an actual live live stream again. Being Mandalore is the greatest honor for our people. Mandalore's helmet is passed from one leader to the next. Oh, when Revan okay. executed Mandalore before our eyes, he cast Mandalore's helmet away, denied it to us. He took Mandalore's helmet and left with it. If he hadn't done that, the new Mandalore would have been chosen that day. But without leadership and direction, the clan scattered, fell apart. Uh, so how did you find the helmet? During the Jedi Civil War, I met and traveled with Revan. Oh. I was there with him when he defeated Darth Malak, and traveled with him afterwards. Eventually, he told me where he had taken the helmet. Wait, he set me upon I don't remember path. that. We can talk about Revan and other things later, if you like. You know enough for now. Now hmm. is there something else you needed? All right, sounds like, uh... Yeah. All right. Yeah, sounds like there's going to be other conversation options later on. Although, I haven't seen any winning influence or losing influence. So, let's try... Do you know anything about this world? Like us, the people of Onderon are warriors. Early mm -hmm. in their history, they built ISIS to protect them from the beasts that swarmed on their world. No matter how far they've progressed, they're fundamentally still warriors standing watch on their battlements. They don't like outsiders. And their inability to take ideas from other cultures gives them a fundamental disadvantage yeah, in warfare. Yeah, there's something to be said for that, too. the Mandalorian too. Wars, despite their martial skills. Their technology and doctrine are not in the same league as Mandalorians. Now is there something else you needed? Um, that is interesting. All right, Let, let's ask the really pointed question. If you're the leader of the Mandalorians, I'd have thought you'd be tougher than you are. I've fought countless battles, ones most didn't walk away from. The wounds add up, and even the implants are all that keep me going sometimes. Oh. I may have been stronger in my youth, and stupider. Weren't we all? But now I've got to rely more on my armor, my weapons, and my cunning. Now is there something else you needed? Alright, that, uh, that seems to be all the conversations up conversation options we have with him so let's just go ahead and never mind there and that actually brings me to a question since uh we got Godo leveled up and T3 leveled up earlier is uh HK in need of a level up no that's right we we leveled him up uh earlier on the planet he's uh, level... Alright, I'm level 21. He should be level 20. Alright, combat droid level 20. And... Okay, he's the one that I need to give the Duraplating Mark II to. Because all he's got right now is a defense bonus of 9. No extras. None of those are going to be worth it, but that will be. I knew there was somebody I needed to give that to. Okay. That feels better. Alright. And then, let's double check. We got him squared away. I feel like there's somebody... Oh, um... I know I need to do... I need to do some more conversations with Mira to get her to a place where she can become a Jedi so I can finally level her up past level 12 Scout. Because I really don't want to give her any more levels in Scout. I didn't want to give her that many, but if you remember from earlier in the season, uh, I had to level her up to get... Uh, to be able to get through the, the place where she's literally the only person you can bring with you. Um, or she's literally the only person you're controlling. And, and lower than level 12, that just wasn't that just wasn't happening. Uh, unless you're willing to die and retry, die and retry many, many times. And that doesn't make for a good show. So I didn't. 
I feel like there's somebody else that uh, I missed out on leveling up, though. Ooh, the Handmaiden probably needs a quick level. And Kriya definitely does. All right, so let's level up Kriya real quick in the Handmaiden, and then we'll wrap up the episode with that. Yeah, there we go. And I also need to take a look at the armor that I gave her, too. Because right now she's got the Dark Jedi Knight robes. Okay, defense bonus, too. So the gray Jedi robes would not have helped. Um, regen force points con and regular regen three but those are from some armor additives so the osseous keeper robes might be worth it if I can put the uh, upgrades in it and the apprentice robes not so much because that's just con dex and strength and it doesn't give the extra defense bonus alright I'll have to remember that uh, but not until I can get to a workbench and make the actual extras that are needed. Alright, let's level her up real quick. Skills. Oh yeah, she does actually have a couple. She's got Treat Injury and Stealth and Awareness and Repair because eh, that extra point's got to go somewhere. Beats. She does get Unarmed Specialist 5. <laughs> Is she a one-armed specialist five? No, that was wrong. That was very wrong. All right, let's double check. Cause this has been a while since I looked at her upgrade options. Um, all right, so she does have stealth, and I have occasionally used it with her. So stealth run might might be worth doing, but honestly, uh, regen vitality or regen force points would probably be among the top. Uh, close combat, she's not shooting anybody, so we're not worried about that. I'm not worried about bumping up her skills. She's got Master Dueling. Toughness wouldn't be a bad one. That reminds me, I, I might need to look into Toughness for Baudur too, because he seems to take a lot of damage. Uh, advanced Jedi Defense? Uh, no, not not yet. Um, not going to do anything with blaster pistols for her. Even though I give her one, it, it's not worth spending a feat on that. And same for the regular melee weapons. Um, not going to worry about the, the blaster pistol specific stuff. Power attack might not be a bad one. Uh, conditioning might not be a bad one. She's not using any of the skills for gearhead. Flurry is another good one. I am very fond of flurry. Empathy. No. No empathy. She has no empathy. Come on now. Uh, critical strike? That's an option because the lightsaber's got a decent crit range and anything you can do to... Oh, never mind. This feat lowers defense by five. No, not gonna happen. Alright, so we're looking at flurry, toughness, or conditioning. Yeah, as tempted as I am to give her power attack or flurry... Uh, I, I let her run on her own in the background a lot. And it doesn't look like um, the game uses those feats automatically, even though it should. It did a better job of that in uh, the first go-round, in the first Knights of the Old Republic. So I probably ought to give her something that, that's going to benefit her no matter what. And that's where something like conditioning, a plus one to all saving throws... Plus two, plus three, or vitality, or toughness rather, or the regen. I mean, she does have regen vitality through her clothes, through the armor bonus, but um, in combat recovery hasn't been enough to make that big a difference, and out of combat recovery has been quick enough that... I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to give her toughness. Get her an extra vitality per level. Oh yeah, that's right. She gets lots of powers. She's one of the squishy counselor types. Alright, let's max out her master heal. And let's max out that battle meditation. I probably should have her in my party more. I keep forgetting about that master battle meditation. That would be giving everybody a plus four to attack, to damage, to will, and increases vitality point regen. 
And, oh, oh, the master one. Nice. Any enemies within 15 meters that fail a will save. Suffer a minus four to attack, minus four to damage, minus four to will. It will not affect any droids in the party. I might have to leave her in the party for the next little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's accept that. Let's level her up again. The skills. Okay. And, oh, and another power. Mm. All right. Which, oh, yeah. No, let's uh, bump up that force wave there. All right. Level up. Oh. Well, now isn't this a fun one? Um, she's got weapons finesse, which takes care of the dexterity. Her strength is a 10, which, well, that's not great. It just means that she's not getting any bonuses to damage when she does hit with a melee weapon, which is her strong suit. Um, so a bump to dexterity would be okay. A bump, uh, she's got the highest constitution of the party. I probably should have remembered that when uh, giving her the feat toughness. Because with a constitution of 18, I don't know that she really needs toughness, but it's not going to it's not gonna hurt. I could bump up wisdom. I could bump up intelligence. Although, honestly, intelligence is mo uh, best use for skills and skill points, and that's not her thing. So I'm really looking at either your dex, con, or wisdom. And I think I'm going to bring your dexterity up to 18 by the time this is done. Because I'd really like her to hit a little more reliably. And that would definitely help with her defense too. Because being one of the robe wearing types, uh, that, that doesn't help your defense as much as one would like. Alright, as much as I would like. But I'm also the kind of guy that plays D&D, you know, with a dwarf and dwarven plate. And, you know, an absurd defense and just don't ask me to, you know, dodge or run or walk or shuffle. Powers. Alright, we get one more power. We've tapped out the stun line. I think what I need to do... Uh, I've got the Master Valor on lock. So I'm probably going to be better with either Master Energy Resistance or Master Force Barrier. Force Barrier does the uh, physical shielding from slashing, bludgeoning, and piercing. Energy does fire, cold, electrical, etc., etc., etc. And so let's do the energy resistance. We run into a lot more of that than we do the slashing and all that. And that's a little bit harder to uh, block. So let's go ahead and do that. And accept. And there we go. Now she's caught up. Um. I might have to spend a little bit of time going over all the stuff that she's got. Uh, I, again, I wish I had a a workbench. Because so I wouldn't mind upgrading that short lightsaber. But that appears to not be an option. And I might have to go back through her equipment and revamp that at some point in time. But either way, with the bump in powers, I, I think... I think I'll keep her in the party for uh, next week's live stream. So in case you haven't picked up from earlier in the week's episodes or later in the week's episodes or any of that, Fridays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, I do a live stream where I record the next six episodes. Well, usually the next six episodes. Occasionally, I apparently forget. And uh, so if you want to watch the recording live and participate in the chat, Head on over to the Twitch. There's a link in the description below. And uh, and join me on that. Follow along if you haven't already. That way you get notified when I go live. And uh, if you haven't already, do do subscribe to the YouTube channel. But the uh, the next little video is going to... Or the last little bit of the video is going to... Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And... If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. 
Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.